testing out the rank play build. Let's uh, see how it does in the gameplay. So going through, there's one. Okay, so obviously we're going to be testing them all out and seeing what's better. Now this one is, I already know it's a really good build just because I use it in rank play. But how good it is in pubs, I wasn't too sure. So we're about to find out. Starting off with a nice little four piece. And yeah, we're actually kind of frightened off the break. Yeah, it's five. Instantly going to go for the reach out. One thing I'm doing is I'm constantly moving away because, bro, it gets mixy. Yeah, it does get mixy. Let's hold this. It doesn't have a silencer, which for pubs, I do like having a silencer, but we are ripping through the lobbies right now. I'm not going to lie. This is like a, it's like a nine out of 10 build so far for me. Oh my God. We are frying helicopter already. The way this series is going to work is we're just going to have back to back games. So we don't, you know, we're not going to mess up with any matchmaking, nothing like that. Just back to back games and see what loading does better. Oh my God, bro. 12 and one already. Okay. This is pretty insane. Vars UAV. This one might take the cake so far. This one might take the cake. I mean, I mean oh, okay, that's good shots from him. First game as well. Like, obviously, we have nothing to compare it to, but I don't know if I'll get a not another gameplay as good as this with my other two. This one might be record time as well, bro. What the hell? It's like a two minute gameplay. That guy got cooked. This gun is actually so fun to use as well, bro. This guy's got pretty good movement, but. They're, they're not even coming close right now. I'm, I'm looking like such a nerd right now. It's actually funny. Let's snake the wall, bro. He's going to jump up it. Do you know how elite that nade placement was? Like, do you know how sweaty that nade placement was? The attachments will be on the bottom, but we'll also do a class set for you guys at the end. Just kind of explain some of the thought processes. But yeah, bro. Rank play class. This one. This one's elite, bro. This one's elite. It's getting a 9 out of 10. Oh my god. Maybe a 10 out of 10, bro. No problems for me. This was absolutely insane. I don't know how good it'll be in pubs. I knew it would obviously be good, but this is uh, not really what I expected. Yo. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> bro, first game of pubs in a minute as well. Free for that is funny, bro. We just... Oh, okay. We're going to take that one for sure. That is so funny, bro. They hate me. They hate. I hate me. I hate me already, bro. If I was them, I would be tweaking. Okay. First game, 10 KD. The attachments are on the screen. Like I said, we'll go through the end. Let's get right into game two. Game two. This time we're using this suppressed SMG version of the MCW. Let's see how this one does. You guys know how game one went absolutely insane. Game two, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so he's actually my right. Oh, okay. Off the break, not as good, but that wasn't really the weapon. That was just more my positioning. But yeah, we're not going to look at just score. We're going to look at the feel of the weapon. Uh, personally, I do like the sight of the MTW with the red dot. I kind of thought it was... I don't mind the iron sight, but... Oh, this guy's still camping there, bro. It's pretty annoying to play against. I think if I am going to go for this build, I want to add a little bit more mobility. I feel like if I want to make it that suppressed build, I do want to add a bit more mobility. Otherwise, I don't see the point of it. I'm tweaking out. He's moving there. Where is he, then? Oh, it's not bad though. Really not bad. Even at that range. But yeah, I feel like if I want to go for the silence one, maybe add a little bit more mobility, but let's see how it plays out. You know what? The actual iron sight and the suppressor is actually kind of clean. I actually don't mind it. I still right now prefer the build number one a lot more, even for pubs. I'm getting fried right now, but they're just camping in really weird spots. I'm unlocking a little bit. I feel like the suppressor... Take off the iron side, you do get another attachment, but I don't think I utilize it as well. Again, the 30 round bullets is a little bit of an issue, but I don't think I would have anything more just because I don't want to waste another attachment. Yeah, that guy got fried. <laughs> so did that guy. Playing it pretty well. Should we one more? Okay. Now we're kind of cooking. It's really hard because the first game I had was so well played with the other uh, loadie. It's a little bit difficult to compare. So I'm not going to try to compare it straight away based on the performance. But based on the feel of the loadie, I'm going to give this like a seven and a half. A few, few tweaks, which I can potentially do at the end. Not bad, though. It's definitely not bad. The other one was like a nine. This was like a maybe an eight, actually. 
I just prefer the other one a little bit more, but let's see if we can win this game now. It's getting a bit close. I just think I'm trying to make the MCW a bit more like a sub, but I'm not playing it like a sub. That's the problem with this build. Ah, right, where is he? Is he up there? Yeah. The advanced UAV will be so helpful. Can I get that, please? Can I get that advanced UAV, please? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Let's try cooking him. This should be one shot. Where do you think? Okay, one more on the right. Honestly, it's not bad. The, the more I'm getting used to it, it's actually not bad. I'm gonna give it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm giving eight point five. The other one, I'm gonna give it nine. Ooh. Getting a lot cleaner with it though. This is back to back games as well. We're actually cooking right now. The MCW is a gun I use a lot though, to be fair, right player, so. I didn't expect to struggle with it, to be honest. I thought I'd be alright with it. There's another one. Okay, let's back away, back away. But the advanced UAV is so fun to get. You know what? I thought this wouldn't be that good at range. I'm actually starting to enjoy it more the more i get used to it i think i wasn't really used to having the no iron sight it's actually pretty good man it actually is pretty good because it, i feel like it still doesn't have a lot of recoil with it and normally when you have an iron sight i feel like you can feel the recoil a bit more but you, i actually can't i really can't 26 and 5 bro i feel like i'm doing as good as i did the other game and not uh, maybe a little bit worse but that game i was absolutely cooking so i don't think i can expect the same Okay, where's he at? Come on, Smithy, bro. That's messed up from you. Two more people, two more people. Then we can kind of uh, judge the overall build at the end of the video. So let's get these two kills and move on to the third gameplay. See where they are. Let's just go up top and close this one out. Helicopter takes out one. Where's the last player at? And there you go. We get the last kill. Okay. 30 to 7, not the worst. That's pretty good. I mean, the next I got literally 17. And you can look at the lobby, like, there's still a couple of people over level, like, 800, 900 and stuff. So there was still a few bots in this lobby, like, a couple under hundreds. But I don't even know what's going on with the matchmaking. I'm just going to, I'm just playing the game. Um, but yeah, we will we'll take that. We will take that. I think we played it overall well. We're going to go straight into map three and go through the third and final loadout. Then we can kind of compare them into our third and final game and this one's gonna be interesting because i actually have a longer range mcw class i want to try out and we have the shortest map but it's the luck of the draw and i'm i have to give credit where credit's due i really like this map the way they did shipment i think they did a great job on this this style man it looks really cool really animated i really like it i don't even know how long it's been in the game but i really like it but yeah let's break down this class up and see how it goes so the way we're gonna play it is a little bit more like a reserve kind of campy style for people that want that longer range ar and we can see how good it is so we're literally going to camp in the back and just yeah we're going to just work work with the mtw see how it is so it's very similar to the first build we just put in a silencer for the muzzle i didn't really think of any other builds i could have and this is probably the only one i can really think of that um could be mentioned so straight away i think it's very very similar i'm a big fan of the silencer i am a big fan of the silencer i feel like when you're playing pubs it's just a lot better a lot better to have so the first build I was really, really impressed with. The rank player build is one of my favorite ones because I use it all the time. I think just adding this silencer might make it even better for pubs. So this one I thought would be my favorite. But um, yeah, let's just play out and see how it goes. Okay, so far we're actually losing. But again, this one's a bit tricky because of the, the map I had as well. So maybe next time I can mix it up and play a map that actually works with the, with the weapon. It was just unfortunate. This was just the next game. Okay, so there's another one. We're still trying to make it work here. We are still trying to make it work. So yeah, another change. I put the, the glassless optic on. I feel like, again, just for that range makes it a little bit better. So if you want a longer range MCW, this this feels nice though. It does feel nice. It feels like I can control the recoil. It feels like it snaps. It doesn't feel slow, which is really important for me. Having a longer range weapon, not feel slow is so, so crucial for me. Another one down. You see what I'm saying? Like, you still feel like it's kind of mobile, which is really, really important. Bro, this spawn trap's crazy. This might be the quickest game by far. This should be the quickest game by far, actually. Saying that, I think the first game I fried them pretty quickly. I know I did the worst in this game out of the three, but it wasn't really the loadie. It was just, like I said, the build is a longer range build, so 
Can't take it out on the Lodi. I'm on down. Oh, cruise me. There you go. But yeah, even like close range, bro. I feel like this is still doing its thing. It's kind of snappy. I think oh, it's weird, man. I like all the builds. I think this might be my favorite. I think if you're playing pubs, I think this is my favorite because it's just the rank play build, but with a suppressor. And I just feel like when you're playing pubs, the suppressor is so handy. Even the optic, just changing the optic, I feel like at long range, it feels a little bit smoother. Again, I played the worst out of all the games with it, but that was purely because of the map. Purely having shipment on this map is a little bit hard to judge it, but I still think it did its thing close range. So I'm going to say out of the three, this is my favorite, but we'll go through it in the uh, in the attachments at the end properly. Break it down in detail. Let's just get the win here. We're one away, and that should be game. Should be game right there. GG's, okay. So that was a close one. Really close one. To be honest, I'm actually impressed. The fact that we had that long range MCW and we still won the game. Really good stuff there. So we won all three free throws. Probably performed the best with the first weapon. And then the second and then the third, which is kind of funny. But I don't think the order went like that. So let's go into the class setups, explain my thought process throughout the builds and rank them one to three. Let's get right into it. I'm be going through and ranking the attachments and overall the build. So everything was the exact same besides the actual MTW. First build, we went with a standard rank play build. Really, really solid. If you guys just want that mid range assault rifle, the bit of a do it all weapon, absolutely go for this build really fun to use and you can't go wrong with it really 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 solid build i'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 no complaints at all okay we'll give it a 9 out of 10 really good build then we go over to the next build now i did change an attachment so in the gameplay i actually had it like this so i actually had it like this after i finished i went through some tunings i was like you know what? I, I felt like it wasn't a snappy if you're going for a short range kind of suppressor like silencer sorry it's smg build i think you have to get rid of the barrel the barrel is really good to give that bullet velocity and range right but i just think you lose a lot here you lose your your sprinter fire your aim walking speed you lose a lot of that short range advantage so what i actually personally would probably do is go for a laser here Go for any laser that you want and just make it a little bit more snappy. For me, this will be a lot better, a lot more beneficial. And now you actually get the advantages of the movement. So if you guys are trying to use the second build, I would set, uh, recommend this. You know why? Because the recoil still feels pretty clean. I feel like at that close to medium range, like the first two bots here, I feel like there's no problem at all. You know, normally with an SMG, it's still a little bit of a range. Like right now, it feels really good. The stray feels incredible. I recommend for the second build, trying to make it like this. So the gameplay you saw, this build will be a little bit better than that gameplay. So this is what I recommend. And then we go over to the third build. And this one, I'm going to give it a probably a 9.5 as well or a 9, wherever I get the first one. I think this one's slightly better though. So this is the exact same build as the first one. The only difference is the muzzle. I put the Quartermaster Suppressor on, okay? So it's very similar to the Flash Hider. The only difference is we're actually undetectable by radar. So you actually have a suppressor on your weapon. And then the next change I made was an optic. I decided to go with a glassless because I felt like, I don't know if it's a thing with recoil, but it feels a bit cleaner. I remember when it came out, it was quite broken in rank play, but it just feels a bit cleaner. And it also feels like it's a little bit easy to control that long range. So if you guys are looking for an ultimate MTW build, honestly, this one for me was perfect because it still felt snappy. It still felt fast, but it had a suppressor and at that long range, it felt perfect. So out of the three builds, this one will be my number one for public matches. Then we'll go over to this one, which is the exact same thing, just without the suppressor. And then we go over to the suppressor SMG, which has a completely different play style because it'll be closer range. So you have three MCW builds to go with. Let me know down below. Did you guys like this style of videos? Do you guys want to see more of these? I personally don't mind making more of these, kind of giving you guys a couple of class setups to try out and seeing what you guys prefer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. And uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments, what type of videos do you guys want to see near the end of modern warfare 3 because the videos that you guys want are the ones i'm gonna make thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys for another video later on today peace